What it do fam, today we back with another one, and this is for my people who are having problems trying to connect their NPC to a computer in controller mode, and the NPC is stuck on the screen saying looking for a computer. Hopefully, by the end of this video, we're going to have you together. Follow me. Alright y'all, in most cases, when this is happening, it's simply a driver issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to our Akai account, download our update, which contains the driver file, install that, and we should be rocking and rolling. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is get yourself logged into your Akai account, and you want to go and select your device. In our case, we're going to be using the MPC Live 2. Now what you want to do is click view downloads. Now, once you click view downloads, you'll see everything that you have available to you that came with your MPC. The first thing you're going to see is firmware update. You do not want to download this firmware update at this time. That is for the standalone installer. You're going to want to go down to the software downloads. And you want to click on MPC 2.11 desktop software. From here, you're going to scroll down and you're going to download the installer that is correct for your computer, whether you're using a Mac or a PC. In my case, I'm using a Mac, so I'm going to download the MPC 2 installer for Mac. Now, this does work on any MPC, whether you're using an MPC 1, MPC Live, MPC Live 2, MPC X, or the MPC Key. Now that we have our installer downloaded, we're going to open that up. Now here we have our MPC 2.11 software installer. What you do not want to do is just click the MPC software. You are going to want to click on the device that you're using, whichever one it is, all the way down to the MPC Studio, the first edition. We have the MPC Ren and Up. So you're going to want to click on your device. This time we're doing the MPC Live 2. You might possibly want to update your MPC software or install the MPC software if you haven't done that already. And we're going to walk through the installer real quick. And now that we have the MPC software updated and installed, you want to reinstall the driver if your MPC is not connecting. Now remember, after you install your driver, you must restart your computer for this to work. And now we're done. From here, you want to restart your computer. And at that point, you can connect your MPC using the cable that came with it and switch your MPC into controller mode. Your MPC hard drive or SD card should show up on the computer and it should now connect to the software. Okay, now that we got our computer restarted, we're going to open up the MPC software and then we're going to connect our MPC Live 2. Alright, we have our MPC software open. We're going to go to an empty project and now we're going to move over to the MPC Live 2. We're going to open up an empty project on the MPC Live 2. Then we're going to go straight to our menu. We're going to tap the MPC chip icon at the top of the screen and then we are going to enter into controller mode. And now in a few seconds, the MPC should automatically connect to the MPC software. And now we are connected. So there we go. That is the conclusion of this video. I hope that it did help you figure out your solution in trying to connect your MPC to the software. Thanks for watching. And you know what I'm about to say. I'm out.